Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK out foraging again. It's the 7th of January today and we came out looking for oyster mushrooms at one of my oyster mushroom spots, but we've had no luck so far on edible fungus. But what we have found is a really interesting little fungus that I've never done a video on before, so I'm going to show it to you now. Let's have a look down here, Attila. What you can see growing out of that stump there This stand here is probably a, a nice example. It's a black stemmed stag's horn looking fungus with white tips. Now this is called candle snuff fungus. I assume because it looks like the wick of a candle that's been snuffed out. Now, if I'm lucky, if I tap, yeah, there you go. Those white tips, you'll see lots of white dust coming off of the fungus. Now what that dust is, are the asexual spores of the fungus. They're not spores that are going to grow into new mushrooms. They're spores that go and sort of colonise other bits of hard wood, which is what this grows out of, and kind of take over that bit of wood, ready for the sexual spores that will grow into fungus to come and colonise it later on. Attila described them a bit like droids, um, going and taking over land, ready for... Uh, the, uh, the fungus itself to come and move into. Um, now, its scientific name is Xylaria hypoxylon. Um, now, note, I said scientific name. A lot of people think of them as Latin names, but they're not Latin names. They're scientific names made up of Latin and Greek and just some made up words, to be honest. Now, this one is specifically made up of two Greek words, the hypoxylon bit. So hypo means below and xylon means wood. So this is a fungus growing from the wood below. It's a saprotrophic fungus and it's a very common one so it's one of our key recyclers in hardwood forests. It is reputed to cause a little bit of uh, root rot in certain species like hawthorn and maybe gooseberry um, but I don't think it's in any way a tree killer um, but it is an interesting fungus because it's bioluminescent which means it glows in the dark. Now uh, that bioluminescence comes from phosphorus that the fungus accumulates reacting with oxygen in the air so it has a, a constant glow on a dark night which um, I find rather interesting. Anyway, candle snuff fungus. Very very lovely find but not one that you can eat. Uh, if you want to find out more go to wildfooduk.com mm -hmm.